Okay, this is an elite book, model 820G3. This one has i7, 6610U, 128 gigabyte of hard drive, which needs to be replaced with a bigger one. The battery on this one lasts approximately four to five hours, and it's small. 12.5 inch, very light and solid. One thing good about this one is for professional. So it has the Ethernet, USB C, and two USB 3.0. And this one has a display port instead of HDMI for some reason. But it's actually a very good laptop for hackintoshing. So let's get started. And you need a 16 gig so that you can have the bootloader and the Mac OS Catalina 15.5, the latest one, installing it. And you also need an external USB. This one I got is like $40 or something, 45 bucks, 250 gig. You must test it on the external hard drive, USB hard drive, before you install it into the internal hard drive. If you don't have these two, don't bother to hack and touch. Okay, so before we do anything, we need to find out what's inside our computer. So this is Laptop Elite 820 G3. So we're going to go to this PC, right click. We go to Property. So we go to Device Manager. So what's the most important thing? The first thing we want is to look at this display adapter. So this graphic 520. So we can look at it, property, go to detail, and hardware ID. So this one right here is 1916. So the version is 03, but we care about 1916. Okay, so take a screenshot of this one. So the next one we want to find out what trackpad we use. So this one Synaptix SM Bus Touchpad. So normally it will work with Hackintosh. So that's a good one. All of the Synaptix will work. Now the network adapter. So this one has Intel, Ethernet, and not Realtek. But this one also works. So we're going to go to detail again, hardware ID, so 15.6F, so we're going to capture this one. So this one right here, we can use the uh, biomossy.cax. So now we got two important things internally is working. The wireless on this one is, it won't work because we there's no driver, no CAX for the dual band wireless. So this one we have to replace with a Broadcom DW1560. Now we want native sound. So it's not the Intel audio, it's the connection one. Well, most of them, they use the real tech, but this one happened to have connection. So 14F1 and 50F4. So now we know that we can get the sound working, the ethernet working, and the driver for the graphic card working. So the only thing that is not working is the Wi-Fi, which we have to get. So that's it. So those are important things in the laptop. 
So every time when we buy a laptop, we want to hack and touch it. We have to look, get these devices, the trackpad, the sound, the ethernet, and the Wi-Fi. So that's internal. Okay, so this one, you can do pretty much everything except the Wi-Fi, which we have to replace to make it native. Okay, so now let's go to the software part. The first thing we need to do to get is the boot disk utility and download it. Okay, so that's one. So you head over to olarilla.com. Actually, it's a really nice website. And you can download the image. Catalina. So if your computer, actually all computer, starting with Intel three generation, third generation, which is CI5 to I7 three series, which is the Ivy Bridge, is already working with Catalina. So if you get anything older than that, uh, don't even think about hackintoshing. So if you have anything above series 3 all the way up, then you can use Catalina. Forget Mojave. So it's about 8 gig. All right. So use that. I have the Mac, so I can download straight from the uh, Apple. So if you get all of this stuff from here, I think it will be nice to donate because it helps you to do the Hackintosh, all right? It's just good karma. And you need to get the Clover bootloader so you can use the latest one or whatever. We want to get the zip, the, the, the new one should the new boot this utility should be able to download all of this, but the next one we want is also open core. Actually, this one, if you set it up correctly, it works really well. So let's download this one, the release version. So many files that you will need from Rehab Man. So every time, if you see, I mentioned a Kex from Rehab Man, you go here. So make sure github.com Rehab Man. And then you keep this one, right? And this one for laptop configuration, laptop the SDT patch. Now, Voodoo PS2 controller is very important. You need this one. USB inject all is, is very important too. But fake SMC, use this one. Or in Clover, they also have the SMC already in there. And do not ask me for these kecks or file or whatever, because it's all on the internet. Okay, so now we're going to use the um, read write everything to extract a CPI table. So now we look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten SDT and one DSDT. So we start from the left side and then we're going to save it as bin. So what we're going to do is going to put on a desktop, new folder. PCPI and we're going to save this one as any file dash one dot AML. So we're going to move to the second far left. We we'll also save as so this one's going to be two.
And the last one is the DSDT. So DSCT.AML. All right. Okay, so we downloaded the five point the fifteen point five. Now we need to use seven zip. So we extract to raw. Okay, so we extract it to here. Now we're going to extract it again. So this is the one we're going to use to restore, to make a bootable installer. So we'll go to download, put this utility folder that we had it before. So we're going to execute it now. The first thing we want to do, so I use the uh, 2.0. So we're going to execute it. So boot this utility, see it right away. First, we go to option, configuration. And we want this one to be 5 gig. Because we we can't we don't use all of the uh, 16 gig, so this is the best one. What we're gonna do is that uh, check. So right now is uh, 518. Download this one. 5.118. So we're going to format it. OK, so it's all done. So if we look in here, we will see we have 10 gig left on the other side, and 4.8 gig is the uh, Clover. So now what we're going to do, we're going to restore. So we're going to go to download Catalina Olorilla. So it doesn't see all of these files. So we're going to go all files so we can see it because it's HFNX. So we're going to take this one and open. OK. So it depends on uh, how fast the USB 2.0 is. So right now, it's transferring at 8 meg per second. So it's going to take a while. OK, so it's done. Now we have this over here for the Catalina 15.5 and this one is for Clover. So right now it's Clover, you have EFI and you have Clover in there. We want to put the uh, open core in there too, so let's go to we're going to extract open core that we downloaded. And in here, they have a UEFI. So we're going to copy. So this is EFI five one one eight. And we're gonna paste it in there. 
so this is open core and this is the clover so now let's look at the open core so it just should have all the cats but this one have no cats in it <laughs> 